For the Hundred Lives by Russell Thornton. The poems in The Hundred Lives burn with a rare blend of rhythmic intensity and hard-earned experience that make them at once timeless and contemporary. On page after page, in line after line, we hear the ancient communal music of language sung through a consciousness of maturity, loss, and restless spiritual hunger. In a very real sense, Thornton's lyric narratives and dialogues of travel, of Lazarus and the Song of Songs, of romantic love, dramatically enact Robert Frost's notion that the greatest of all attempts is to say matter in terms of spirit or spirit in terms of matter to make the final unity. Thornton speaks with utter conviction and credibility to forge a personal vision, a pathway through the apple, to an always richer understanding of human experience. Whether the poems take us to Greece, where gypsy women move like living tarot in the street, or to the memory of a beloved grandmother out in the sailing ship of her wedding dress, her ashes, always the hundred lives puts us in intimate touch with first fire, first waters, with the tenderness and pain of vital engagement. The horizon, a burnt-out eye socket. The sea, a throng of mouths wounding themselves against sand. The only shelter was inside the car. So we drove down the peninsula just to drive. Until we came to a tract of green trees running inland from the road and to the land's end. We parked and went in amongst lemon groves, vast flowering lemon groves, releasing fragrance for miles, where we walked as if under the spell of the scent, and where nothing could have been so apparent, so destined as this, that within the scent abounding white flowers, and the shade-giving leaves lay the ripe lemons, the pert yellow spheres. That within the fruit, within the sudden dream arriving at the end of the way through the bewildering black glare of the sun, shone the light of the lemon. And we could stand finally in the bliss-shedding ray and there, clasped beyond burning sight, we could dwell in each other as in a single cool sanctuary where whatever we knew of bitterness and hurt could become the pure decision in us, nourishing and healing the secret in the midst of burning change which would make us clear, clean-edged, purged of doubt.